This is a great question for skimming because the thing that we're told to look for is pretty recognizable. So uh, precedents and authorities would appear in this passage and it's in quotes, so it makes it nice and easy to see. Now we would still need to read around those lines to get a sense of what they're talking about, but remember, don't get too deep into the lines here. Let's just try to get the most basic understanding, the dumb summary of what this means. So what are they saying? Judicial ju decisions have two uses, to determine the case and to indicate how similar cases will be decided. Reading on, judicial decisions of a greater or less authority as precedents according to circumstances. And this is common sense and blah, blah, blah. So again, I'm not really seeing what that means. Now I'm just going to go into these answer choices with this very limited understanding. And there are going to be some words that pop out as bad that I can use to get rid of some choices right away. I think C and D are the worst answers here. These, choice, these uh, precedents and authorities are overused by the current members of the court. Overused is a very strong word. There is nothing here that's saying that, that's that same idea, and so we can eliminate that. And then choice D, popular tools for evaluating the merits of a law. It's not talking about what people think here. Maybe that's talking about what judges think, but popular? No, that's talking about all people. And so both of these choices have very strong ideas that do not appear anywhere, even in my very dumb, vague understanding. Trust the dumb understanding. Trust the dumb summary. It's enough to get rid of these kinds of answers. The other two are tricky. They also feel very vague, and they seem like maybe they could fit. But let's take a look at the same kinds of things, the words within those choices, and see if we can match them with words in our lines. So in choice A, these precedents and authorities are useful for determining the value of a judicial decision. Well, it seems like maybe that's backwards. Like, it's actually the decision that sets the precedents and the authority, not that the authorities and precedents set the decision. I don't really know. Again, I'm very confused by this, but let's take a look at B. They are informative for future cases that involve related issues. Future cases, related issues, similar cases will be decided when they arise. So look, maybe B is kind of confusing, and I'm a little unsure what is actually being said in that choice, but choice B is really clear. Choice B matches very clearly with the words that I saw, and so I'd be very confident picking this. And this just goes to show why we don't need to understand the lines when we first read them. The answer choices will tell us specifically what to care about in those lines, and then we can go look for those specific ideas.